Hello, this is Hedia Gorza from SyrianToots.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do the motion capture at your home and with the cheapest device ever. We are going to work with Xbox Kinect One device as uh, our motion capture device. So, first of all, plug in your uh, Xbox Kinect One and then uh, we need two softwares. The first software is iPi Recorder to record the motion and the second software is iPi Vocab Studio. So let me show you what to do exactly. First of all, when you run iPi Recorder, you are on this tab, Setup tab, and now go to the Background tab and evaluate the background to be able to recognize the background from uh, your actor. So this is our background. And now we have to go to the Record tab. Now we are going to ask our, our actor to stay in a T-pose. So, uh, after she has stayed in a T-pose, she can move because we need that T-pose later on in Maya. And she is moving. And now we are recording that motion and we are going to track this motion later on. So. That's it. And now, now it's time to export everything to iPi Vocab Studio. So hit this icon, uh, hit this icon. Uh, we have to stop the recording and then this window will be appeared. So hit this icon. Now, it is our video and we have to connect this one, the actor's uh, motion to this 3D model. So first of all, I'll go to the timeline, sorry. I'll go to the viewport background color and dark blue to be able to see everything perfectly. Hit the move icon here and move this 3D model here. And now go to the actor tab here and bring the height of the actor down. Sorry, 3D model, not the actor. We should fit these two together. And that's it. Hit IK tab here and click on the arm and fit everything together. And even for the leg. And let me see. So, uh, go to the tracking tab here and repeat pose. And now everything has been fit. So, uh, hit track forward here to let it track. I'm not going to pause this video. I'm, go I'm going to uh, show you what to do exactly and what to do if you lose the tracking. So. Let me show you. Now it is tracking perfectly, but it is not so smooth. We have to fix it later on with a simple trick. Now we can move around uh, our scene. And if you lost the track, you have to pause the video and fit everything again and again and start tracking forward. So that's fine. And that's it. So it's time to refine forward to smooth the motion. Uh, put it here on the first frame and refine forward. And wait a few seconds to let it get finished. 
This is the first step of the smoothness. First of all, we have to refine forward or backward, and then we have to do something else. I'm going to tell you after this process. So, It is going to be finished soon. And that's it. And we are going to smooth the actions more and more. To do that, we need to do something. Go to the jitter removal or go to the option first and increase it. Increase it uh, in some parts. I'm not going to do that. The default setting is the best. And uh, I'm going to put, uh, put it here and hit jitter removal to smooth the motion. And that's so interesting. You can apply this uh, motion capture on every uh, 3D model that you desire. And that's it. And now we have to check everything. First of all, get rid of the video here, and even the skin, and even the depth. and even the skin. And now I'm going to check everything. This is uh, my joint. And this is so smooth. And this is exactly like, sorry, this video has been paused. This is exactly like uh, the actor's movements. And that's all right. I'm so happy and satisfied with that. So if you want to learn how to uh, connect that tracking data to 3D model, go to our website www.sirentuts.com and watch our second tutorial. This is a, a project of motion capture. And if your model is so complicated and it needs a skin weighting, like this model, watch this tutorial mommy, mommy. and that's it. The next step is go to the export and export everything with export animation with the format of uh, export uh, FBX and save it wherever you want. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And that's it. Thank you. And uh, 